Okay, it's uh, um, Wednesday morning in Duluth, Minnesota, and we have had so much rain in the past few days that we are having the worst flooding since, I think it's like 1972. Um, so anyway, I'm going to walk down to work. I just want to make note that they're telling people to stay off the roads, not to drive, because um, rivers are flowing over roads, um, there are sinkholes everywhere, parking lots are flooded. So, just so you can know what I've got my, my gear, I've got my hat. I'm wearing my, left, my life vest just in case I run into any unexpected uh, rivers running across roads. I've got my little well, handy knife here so I can cut myself out of any precarious situations. So, I uh, thought we'd uh, film our way down the hill to Ken Speckle. Alright, so we're going to go outside. This is it. There's a little reprieve in the rain for the moment. So, I'm hoping that that'll last for a little while. At least for me to get down the hill, it's still sprinkling. So all night long I've been hearing this kind of rushing in between all the thunder and the lightning. And so uh, this morning I walked out here and realized what I've been listening to all morning. My neighbors have a river that, well, a tiny little stream, let's say, that usually flows right past their house. Kind of peaceful, quiet, cute. All right, well, this little stream is now moving their shed uh, through the driveway towards the hillside and here's the little river. I'm not going to get too close because you can see the edge is starting to fall away here and uh, yeah. Personally I don't want my day to begin going down a culvert to Lake Superior so dang. Uh, it's going to be a nasty surprise to come home to. It's crazy. You know they don't talk about uh, flooding too often up on the hillside here in Duluth because well we live on a hill. It's like San Francisco, the north. So I'd say it probably started raining. Man, it's been raining most of the week because I ride motorcycle and I don't ride in the rain generally unless I don't have a choice. So um, this is my eighth day of working and I'm pretty sure I've been walking up and down this hill for eight days. So time to build an arc. Okay, so I just met some people as I was walking down the hill and they uh, directed me to head over here to the river. <laughs> if this doesn't make you want to move to Duluth, I don't know what will. No end to the excitement. Holy sh... Wow, okay, so the staircase here, I don't know if you can see this, has completely come up and away, which maybe means I shouldn't be standing at the top of it. And there's water rushing down the side, underneath. Oh, there's a guy. Well, I guess I good thing I got my life vest on in case I have to rescue him. And going down into the road, which is an absolute freaking disaster area. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah, a mess. The whole area is completely falling away. <laughs> okay. Alright, this is totally noteworthy. This street was well named. Cascade Street. Heading south. Damn. Wow. Here, we're going to get a close-up look on the downside of this. Again, <laughs> just so you remember, I am in a life jacket. Can you see that? Yeah. Safety first! Wow, dude! This is crazy! You guys should have life, life jackets on, right? <laughs> you guys should have your life vests on. <laughs> Just one city street in Duluth. Wow. Crap. It does kind of amaze me how many people are out and about. The city of Duluth said, you know, stay off the roads. I think partially because there's so much debris 
a friend of mine who lives up at the top of the hill said a fire truck went past their place with a yellow, a big yellow river raft strapped to the top of it. So, yeah, I think they probably just don't want to have to be out rescuing everybody today in addition to trying to do cleanup. So, <laughs> well, that's, uh, that looks like that's our, our walking adventure for the morning down to Canal Park. I am approaching my workplace, the DeWitt Sites Marketplace, and the Print Studio. Uh, I'm going to work down here for a while anyway, and more rain is supposedly on its way, um, but I'm, I'm set. I've got my life jacket and my hat and some good walking shoes, so um, hopefully I will make it back up the hill tonight. <laughs>